Well, hi folks, my name is Matthias Klaassen, I'm one of the tutors of Adobe Jam Pro, and in the animation course we mainly focus on Adobe Animate CC. But there are lots of more tools which you can do your animation in, like for instance Adobe Character Animator. So, welcome to Character Animator. Um, I've loaded uh, a basic file into uh, Adobe Character Animator which shows you what you can do with the tool. You can animate your character very easily, like this. And the very awesome power of the tool is of course that you can lip sync your, uh, your character. You can do facial expressions with your character, move around. Um, and that can all be recorded within Character Animator. And then export it to, for instance, After Effects. So pretty cool. But of course you would like to do it with your own characters. So from the welcome screen where it opens up your tool, um, you can open a new puppet inside of Photoshop or inside of Illustrator. The most important thing is that every uh, character that you will make will be layer based. So everything needs to be uh, organized in certain levels inside of Photoshop or Illustrator. So let's open up in Photoshop. There we go. And there you can see the uh, highly detailed layer structure over here. Um, and the most easiest way to do this is just by uh, replacing the layers with your own content. Um, but of course the names of the layers need to be the same because that will make it uh, very easy to uh, get it working within Character Animator. So I've already made something by changing the layers. Let's open up my file. I even put in a, a background which I can use inside of my animation. And I use the same idea, the same basic uh, things. I've put in some extra layers for my glasses. Um, but everything needs to be uh, in this structure to make it easy. So I've saved this file as a Photoshop file with its layers. And now I can go to Character Animator. I'm going to make a new file, a new project. There we go. And I'm going to import my Photoshop file. Open up, and now all I need to do is drag my character from the project bin onto the timeline and it will create a scene and it already starts working. My neck is a bit jaggy over here, but I think you will get the idea. Of course, you need to calibrate the character at first, so I'm going to uh, watch into the, uh, the webcam and uh, select set rest pose. Now you can see all little red dots on my face and my eyes are blue. So now my face is calibrated for the character and um, it does a way better job than at first. And I can move along my arms pretty easily. So that's pretty cool. Of course you need to record your animation um, and it's hard to do it in one take. So uh, when you record your facial animation just stick with your facial animation and then later on you can animate your arms. So if you don't want to uh, use the, the other items in your recording, just open them up and disable them. Let's leave the facial on because of course I want to see my head movement like this. And now I can really easily record my animation and it, uh, re it's recording the voice as well and of course all the animation which I do inside of my webcam. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna stop my animation and go back in time. There we go, I'm gonna turn off the sound in the recording. And of course now I can uh, disable my face disable lip sync and just use a dragger in my animation. So mouse and touch input is uh, it's gonna be recorded. I'm gonna record again. Just wave a bit. There we go. And now also that animation will be recorded into my animation. There we go. So that's pretty awesome. Of course, now you need to, uh, to export it to After Effects to make it work. So go to File, Export, and then make sure you select PNG, Sequence, and WAV. Because the audio needs to be exported to After Effects as well. And it's going to be an, uh, a PNG image sequence. 
So now my export is done from Character Animator. I go to After Effects to make a new project. And I'm gonna go to Scripts from the File menu and then choose New Comp from Character Animator Recording. Go back to my desktop again. I'm gonna select the first image from the sequence. Hit Open. And there you are, that's your animation inside of After Effects, all working correctly. And when we uh, preview it, we can even hear the sound. Of course, it's now a little bit jaggy because of the uh, audio recording for this tutorial as well. Afterwards, of course, you can export your video via the uh, Adobe Media Encoder. The media encoder will show you your uh, project from After Effects inside of the queue and allows you to alter your settings as well. And when you're absolutely happy with your settings, you can hit the play button and it will start the queue to render. And it will eventually give you your MP4 file with these, uh, these settings. So I hope this uh, has given you an insight inside of Adobe Character Animator and what it can do for you. I know for sure that it's going to be fun inside of your classroom doing this with your students, making your own characters, making it move with the webcams. It's going to be big fun uh, doing it in class. So I hope that you will enjoy this tool and of course you will enjoy the entire animation course itself as well. Bye bye for now.